So he's the oldest guy, the oldest Maori guy, uh, that's that everybody listens to when he talks, because he's he's got the whole history of everything. Right. You see, they've got they've got mana, uh, but now he's got more mana being a paramount. You see, he's, he's a paramount in his own right with his name. So he goes, yeah. un, he goes, he he'll go under the karaka name as Maori, but he goes as a clerk. He put his name as clerk. He's he signed as clerk. Yeah. You see, so he knew what I'm talking about. That he's an immigrant. He took the clerk name. If he put the Maori name on, it won't make sense because it's not original. There's there's no karakas. You see. That's why I say, yeah, watch these, these Maori names. Some of them are real, some of the Parapara, you can't change that name. That's an original name, and the Manukau name, and the Wano name. You can't change those names because they go back right back to where they came from. Right? Yeah. Uh, and so that's the, there's no argument there uh, about who's who. But when it comes to the legal documents, then that matters whose name is on when you go to England. He'll go and stand there and says, well, I'm a clerk, you didn't bloody tell us all this uh, crap that you're doing uh, when we went to New Zealand that you were going to abandon us and leave us to those other pirates. You see? And, and, and so he can talk from a, a... Because they were fighting the war for England, that's what he said. He says, I fought all your wars for you, and what did you give me? You stole all my land. Yeah, I came here because I came here to find a new place to live and you dropped us off here and left us to fend for ourselves amongst all these native uh, uh, hoodlums and, and all these um, um, uh, monkeys. <laughs> and I've, man I've managed to survive all these monkeys so I'll come back to England to tell you, you're the monkeys. <laughs> and I fought your war, you didn't fight our war for us. We're still having a war amongst ourselves. But you've got all the money out of us. Yeah. Yeah? And we're coming here to get it. We've got a big truck waiting outside to take it back to New Zealand. You're going to find it Yeah. They'll say, oh, we hit it in, in Germany now. It's not in England anymore. You see, so they have, they have shifted everything around. Yeah, of course they have. It's a big, big money. Yeah. Big uh, concern, really. Especially that much gold. You know, yeah. you had to hide it somewhere. It's hidden in the ground. Yeah. You see, it's not in a bank yeah. vault somewhere. They might have some in the vault, but they won't have it all there. Like Most they of it's funny, um, that, that, like Fort Knox and that, there's only gold coated money. Um, Yeah, so the illusion was that it was there when it wasn't. Yeah. This is how they run business, yeah. as being duping everybody with with uh, uh, the federal state makes yeah. make, makes up its own laws for its own government. Yeah. And and they were elected out of the normal government, and once they were elected out of the normal government, the state government, then they turned themselves into their own selves and squashed the other part. So that went under the Queen, ran that racket, and uh, it's just, she still is. And so we're going to have to face her in England to replace her in the trust when there's only her and um, uh, uh, the King and Queen of Spain as the original. The King uh, died last year, and so that left only her, Prince Andrew, and um, Amelda Marcos is the three trustees on our trust that we haven't sat yet or replaced ourselves. Yep. If they've gone, it's because the King and Queen of Spain, they elected to put the successors to them, not our trust. But they've gone and taken the trust. Yep. It doesn't belong to them in the trust. You can't just simply replace uh, a trustee or a head trustee without the shareholders, which is us and the beneficiaries. We're still beneficiaries yep. of that trust. Yep. And we didn't say to put those two new new uh, King and Queen of Spain in there. And uh, right. the, the son of the uh, Imelda Marcos 
which is a Filipino, because she's a Filipino, and and put him in there as as executor of those gold trust fund. No, that that's not his business. That's not his business. That's our business. That's where Trump is going there to pick it up. The Queen has ordered him to go there, pick it up, and uh, and, <coughs> and deliver it somewhere or or take stock of it. You see. Oh, is it taking place, is it? Yeah, that, that, that was going on from last year. Yeah, I've been tracking them. I'm just listening to what Karen Hudes is saying, because she was the um, uh, a lawyer for the World Bank. And she's published all this. She blew the whistle and published all this stuff. So I grabbed it all. That's where I got oh, yeah. my, my 970 million trillion trillion from, from, from all those figures, because it took 11 years to put all the, the World Bank figures together. To, to, to formulate an update before they changed it and dissolved it into the yeah. new gold currency, gold thing, or whatever they, they're doing now, and got rid of the federal state. That's what Trump is there for, to get to, he's getting rid of the federal state government and and, um, and go and chase after that gold and make new money. Right. He's getting rid of the US dollar uh, and create an illusion that it's going to collapse soon. It's, it's supposed to collapse, and then they'll create another war with this flag, a declaration of war, because that's what this flag is, a declaration of war flag. Now these idiots up north have suddenly realised that it's a declaration of war flag, well, I've been trying to tell them. And that's what they've been using. They've been taking the authority from the Prime Minister here, to the Governor General here, to the Queen, to use this flag to going seize other countries and create war with the ISIS and all the rest. They do it from here. Yeah? They do it from this flag, right under the nose of these Maoris. Yeah? They, they, they didn't know how that worked. Now they know. I said, if I didn't tell you, you're not supposed to know because the Freemasons told Mohi Moko, don't tell anybody. But because Mohi before he died, he left everything with me. I'm going to tell you, right? Because as far as the Freemasons are concerned, it's, it's, it, they've gone into a new phase, which yeah. is the New World Order. They're going to drop all this lot. They haven't yet. They're going to, but they haven't yet. So we're catching them before they do. See? Now that's, yeah. why, the, that's why the sudden change of um, uh, uh, Theresa May having a snap election was that they had designed it so that it would look uh, like a clean cut away yeah. from uh, the old into the new part of, see, she'll get a job in the EU, no trouble. They're running, they're running the EU from the Westminster Parliament in conflict, right under everybody's nose. Yeah. They're running it inside Westminster as if the EU Parliament runs Westminster because yeah. that's how they're doing it. That's how, that's how they're doing because of the, um, uh, um, uh, what do you call it, the Scotland siding with the, the EU side more than British side, right? Uh, and, and Ireland pulling out all together and all that sort of thing. And so they're all run under, under the World Court because they got protection from all their business there from the King. Not the Queen, from the King. So the Queen's going to hide underneath the Queen, the King. That's not her bloodline. The, 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 the Dutch is not her bloodline. Wrong George, wrong George. And these ones up north were using King George, uh, King George the Fourth. At 1831, I said no. He was dead. It's King William the Fourth. See, they, they changed it all around. I said, no, don't do that. that. That's what they had on their statement, on their, on their documents. Um, um, and I said, no, no, that's not right. No, they weren't wrong. Yeah. Yeah. They were claiming King George the Fourth to keep themselves, those marriage up north, on their documents to, to, to hold on to the George line on the other side. See? 
The only George in this side, on our side of this flag, is King George the Third, the father of King George the Fourth, and King George the uh, King George the Fourth, King William the Fourth, and King Ernest Augustus the First. Those only those four kings comes under this uh, flag with uh, King William the Third. Yeah. Oh, a lot of noise. What's that? Oh, I see, I see, I see. Oh, you keep working while you're talking. Oh, okay, that's all right. So, so um, um, I'm hoping that we can do that. Otherwise, we're going to um, we're going to do the. Um, I'll, I'll put the documents together for Manahi uh, Mohini and uh, and uh, the other guy White Eye to uh, go and see the police and go and see the court out here in Auckland to open the way. Well, we're going to seize the place um, that way, yeah. rather than go and stand on the property, right? To save confusion of the of the of the public. Is right. the last thing you want is another complaint from the public, yeah. right? Yeah, that could be uh, out year or two. No, just straight away. No, no, actually, more on the oh yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's what happened with us, with the Cook Street thing. Yes. Is that those guys weren't up to what they said they were going to do, seize the place. Yeah. And they're, and they're still in trouble with the law. One of them is still locked up. Another yeah. one another one got arrested. Because uh, they've been trying to do their own thing with their own sovereignty, with the flag. Oh, the, so which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Uh, 1835. The, the, the 1835, everything that's done with the 1835 has failed so far. Yeah. It's, it's failed. It's, it's got no... It's, that's what Hirschfeld said. It's got no jurisdiction, it's got no legal in it. Right. It's been taken out. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> but now he'll change his tune when it's the other way around. Yeah. Yeah, well, so if he doesn't want to answer you, you've got, you got a problem that you're trying to get information for Sue, have you? No, 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 I'm not too bothered about that. Oh, okay. Uh, we just, all we're doing here is conducting our own court hearing under the jurisdiction of the King Direct. Yes. In the Maori Court, oh, not the Maori Court, the, the Maui Native Grand Jury Trial Magistrate Court. Yes. That's, that's what we just did. And so <clears throat> the, the, the Justice of the Peace guy has to approach the bench, the court, and tell them that there's no case to answer. But he has to take the documents in there for Cook Street. Right? Yeah. To seize, we're going to seize Cook Street straight out without going through that court to make the decision. Yeah. They're going in there, those Paramount Chiefs are going there with authority to seize that bit of land. <clears throat> because yeah. of the fraud and all, uh, all systems of law has failed yeah. in this country as corrupt. It uh, and it, it it has not um, uh, has not followed due process of the land transactions yeah. and transfer of the Manukau name missing uh, on the title, right? And so uh, they say to the court that everybody knows now and nobody can defend a case against fact citations that have been, that have been, that have been passed through the marae up there uh, under that flag. Right? Yep. Yep. So that, that's all it is. is, is uh, not to challenge the court, but to say to the court, they won't have any defendants coming in against this jurisdiction from the Marae straight to England. <clears throat> there, in other words, no one's going to bring a case up and go to the court and complain. Those those owners on the land know that. Their case failed. Right. 
against right. me, not those boys, against me. Because they wouldn't allow me a court case. They made a ruling without me being present. Right? That's unprecedented. And the result was they swept it under the carpet as so it, nothing happened. But the problem is still there. They still have a problem if they tried it again. Because this time I'm armed, armed with more yeah. <coughs> than just the title. Yeah. I've got the right chiefs in the right mode, the right authority, the right jurisdiction, the right flag in its right form, straight to Britain. Yeah. And they're waiting over there for us. You see, there's enough information going around in England that they're waiting for them, us to turn up yeah. to save them. Because yeah. that's what it looks like. This flag's done all the damage yes. to them over there as well. Because somebody said somebody can use it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little black Maori. <laughs> a little black Maori that won't say anything. <clears throat> they won't say anything. They won't tell you. It's the same with Moe Manika. I sat in the corner of the Mariah saying nothing. Yeah. Yeah? So these other ones are saying nothing too. They won't tell you how it works, you see? Because the little secret goes out, then everybody knows, then they all want their money back. <laughs> so that's a, that's a war without guns. Right. One, and, and, and one out of court settlement. That's what you call it in the private. When the judge went out the back when I was having my court case, I said, you've got no queen above your head, mate. And you've got no jurisdiction over me. And, uh, <clears throat> and uh, uh, you, better, you better check out. And so he rolls back in and says to me, I, um, I find you innocent. Yeah? And that was the end of I should have said, well, thank you very much, I've got hope. But no, I just stood there and wait for somebody to pipe up. And sure enough, the, the pirates pipes up and starts talking. Oh, we've got issues with John. That was a complaint, you see. So the judge carried on. And he's in trouble for uh, aiding that, that other one that jumped up and the police jumped up to defend their case against me, you see? Yeah. And in the end, the judge ruled it out as insufficient evidence. See? You see what I mean? Insufficient evidence. Yeah. And so those boys, when they came out, they said to me, John, it's all over. It's only you, the problem. You see? And I said, oh, is that right? Well, what happened? He says, oh, insufficient evidence. Oh, how did you estimate that? Who's, who spoke for you? Because they didn't believe in lawyers, you see. <clears throat> it was my barrister that was talking for them. Yeah. Yeah. He had bundled me into them when I told him I've got my own case. He made me one of them. I wasn't the one that committed the crime. Right. It was those guys. Yeah. Right, contrary, I stood outside on the road. And when they called me in, the police called me in, and that's when I went in. See? Yeah. To, to see, the, and I defused the situation. Because they said, what do you want to do? I said, I'll pull the boys off. We're going. See? And that's what, and because they said they were going to lock everybody up. Not, not me, but they're going to lock those people up for what they did in there. I said to the boys, what do you want to do? Get locked up or you want to walk out with me? And so they all walked out with me. And we just left. See? So I'd made my point, but the thing was it was not finished because I warned the police. I went up to the police station first before we went there. And I said, I'm going to see the property. It's all on video in the police station, me telling them. Everything yeah. I did, I videoed it and videoed and told those people on the section, I'm coming in. Yeah. Gave them three uh, uh, letters uh, in their office on video and I told them, we are taking the property. And he says, oh, uh, he says something like, um, oh, make sure you've got a police with you if you go in there. It just meant this, that if he said that to me on the video, he said that on the video in his office, and he said, make sure you've got a police if you want to go in there. 
Yeah. It means that, oh, you'll need a place because there might be a problem. See? <clears throat> but when the staff rang the police up, it brought them into it as third party, fourth party. You see, because I'm saying to those people up north, we're in a two-party contract with the king. Everybody else is a third party, including yep. the government here, and everybody tampering with our information. Yep. So they now know <clears throat> that the government here is a third party interest in our, our, our contract with this flag. It's, it's, right. a, it's a receipt of a contract. It's a receipt of the land with those chief yeah. and also with the birth certificate from 1830 to 1837 period. Um, everything that happened in between those years, eh? Right. So that's what I'm saying. It's a contract, the flag itself. Yeah. As a receipt straight to the king. And now they know. Now they know the full story of the flag. And there they've been going up and down the road, crying. And well, that's good, John. <laughs> Again, I've got... Hey? Yeah. I've got Greg here. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, well, we'll catch you up. I'll let you know any new developments. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. You've got my number, right? Yeah. I, yeah. Oh, no, I better write it down. I, I've got it somewhere. I better... Because it's in the phone. What is it? Oh, I'll take it off the phone. I'll take it off the phone now. After. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cheers. Okay. Have a good day. Bye. Cheers, bye. Bye. That fucking number gone. Where is it? 